Well friends, uh, welcome back to Finance Tube and I am your friend Vishal Thakkar bringing you more on financial education. A friend of mine recently came across this very attractive 0% EMI scheme. He went to uh, one of these showrooms which sell you TV, computer, laptop and other electronic goods and he was wishing to buy a TV. So he shortlisted an 85 inch smart TV which the store quoted that the maximum retail price is 95,000 but they are running a scheme by which they would give the TV at 85,000. My friend is financially very sharp. Why? Because he subscribes to Finance Tube and watches our videos regularly. He went to the store manager and said that nothing doing. I want further discount on the price that you have mentioned. So, after a lot of negotiation and discussions, the store manager said, look boss, I will show you the price at which I buy these TVs. My cost price is 79,500 and I have at least right to earn 500 rupees on this TV. So the last price that I can give you is 80,000 rupees. And when my friend produced a credit card, he got a very cool 10 months EMI on the price that he had negotiated. So 80,000 rupees was broken up into 10 installments of 8,000 each. And he ended up getting a 0% EMI, not on MRP, not on the list price of the store, but on the price at which he negotiated with the store. Now tell me, where is the catch? Think, think. You should come up with something. My question is very simple. In this entire transaction, how do these three people make money? A. The bank whose credit card my friend produced and swiped at the showroom. B. The showroom guy himself who is running this scheme. And C. The manufacturer of that smart TV. Think about it. You should come up with an answer. No? Should I tell you? Well, here it goes. Friends, this entire scheme, they say, is created for the benefit of consumers. First thing that you have to observe is that this 0% EMI scheme is not available on all the models which are sold in the showroom. They are available on select models only. That's what they write after the star mark. So when you say select models only, which are these model on which they run this 0% EMI scheme? Well friends, if you do a little bit of research, you will find out that these models are either dated, that means their technology is about to get over and a better technology TV is coming in few months, or these are the sets which are very very popular. Now while to buy a dated model or not is absolutely your choice but if it is on a very popular model then how does the economics of the preposition work? We need to understand that these television or so called white goods manufacturers which could include refrigeration or your washing machine or your microwave oven, these guys are very few in number and for them it is very difficult to enter into a price war. Because the moment they enter into a price war, they start making losses. So then how do they attract the customer? What usually happens is that the showroom fellow strikes a deal with a manufacturer and agrees to uplift a large quantity of television sets for his upcoming season. So let us say a showroom has procured 500 TV sets for the next Christmas season, which is just around the corner. What happens is that the manufacturer builds the showroom only for 480 sets. That means practically 20 TV sets come to them free of cost. Now when the 20 TV sets are coming to them free of cost, 
he can conveniently show you an invoice of 79,500. But have you checked the quantity column? And you will never be able to check his stock levels because that is an information which stays with the showroom itself. Now, the margin of the showroom is increased by the number of free TVs given by the manufacturer. Let's come to bank. How does bank make money? Whenever you swipe for a very large amount like 80,000 rupees at a particular merchant outlet, the bank charges 1-2% to depending upon the type of arrangement that they have with most showrooms. So 2% of your entire transaction value is collected by the bank upfront. And now, since the model is so popular, the interest cost on the same is split and borne by the manufacturer and the showroom. Many a times, when showroom is doing a tie-up with a bank, the showroom ends up uh, subsidizing the interest cost and giving you the benefit of 0% EMI. And whenever there is a manufacturer tie-up, for example, if you buy your latest smartphone, in the smartphone category, the manufacturer itself would do a tie-up with various banks and on all the retail outlets, they would have a certain particular 0% EMI scheme available for you only on that model for that select period of time. Similar to 0% EMI, they also have these cashback schemes. So at the end of the day, what it means to you is, whenever you are opting for a 0% EMI scheme, either you are buying a dated model, or in case of a perishable product, you are buying a, a product which is nearing its expiry date. And otherwise, the price at which you are buying is in any case factoring the interest cost. That means interest charges is simply hidden in the price. Now you may argue with me that how do I save that money? One, you tell them I will not pay by credit card. I offer to pay you cash or check. He will further discount the product for you. Or if he says no, which most people would say no to you, then it is more advisable to go for a 0% EMI. Because in any case you are paying interest, then why pay cash up front? The choice is ultimately yours. But then the point here is that don't you think that the showroom fellow would make more money if he takes cash from you and not insist on a credit card and a 0% EMI? Yes, he would. But he still refuses to give you further discount. Why? Isn't this again the normal logic? Yes, it is. He does so simply because he knows the fundamental truth of life that whenever you swipe a credit card, you tend to spend more. If you were to buy the same TV by paying cash, you may opt for a television which is worth 60,000 and not 80,000. Think about it. Just because a swipe does not pinch you as much as a cash outflow would, you always end up purchasing more. So here's the secret of 0% EMI, all for you. Thanks for watching Finance Tube. If you haven't subscribed to our channel so far, the right time to subscribe is now. Subscribe to Finance Tube for intelligent financial decisions. Come rich is to subscribe to our channel Finance Tube. If you haven't done so, please do it now because it makes 